Good morning, my name is Wendy Pitkin. I'm here interviewing Peter Egan for the Bay Islands Community Services Seniors Month. Welcome. What brought you to the islands and when did this occur? My wife and I came here in 1997. Mm -hmm. uh, we retired from a little business we were running and uh, we were looking all over the place. We heard all the bad stories about Russell because we lived in the, the Redlands before. Uh, we came over to visit some friends who had retired here and we couldn't believe how good it was. Um, so we looked around and uh, bought a three bedroom brick house on two blocks, would you believe $67,000. <laughs> it was brand new, a brand new house. Ooh, good deal. <laughs> What was life like on the islands when you arrived? I was pretty, a lot quieter. I mean, nowadays I, I can't believe the traffic. There, there was no traffic then. You could drive along Centre Road and you see a car coming the other way, you recognise who it was. You'd stop next to each other and just hang out the window and have a yarn because you knew there was no more traffic. <laughs> um, yeah, it was nice and quiet. And, uh, I suppose one of the worst things was that we we didn't have police then and uh, there were a few baddies around who played up and uh, unregistered cars. You had to be careful you didn't run into them because the insurance wouldn't cover you. But otherwise, it's a beautiful place. Mm -hmm. What made you get involved in working for the community? Well, I've always been a singer and uh, uh, a lady asked me to join the the Russell Island Singers um, and I was with them for about 15 years and also um, there was another group called the Have A Go which was a amateur theatre group <laughs> and we did a lot of shows on the island but the, the Russell Island Singers we used to go over and sing at the nursing homes on the mainland so that was a lot of satisfaction to bring entertainment to some of the people uh, that were uh, old and decrepit and um, you know needed some entertainment. Couldn't get about, out and about. Mm. Yeah. <coughs> the strange thing was that some of us were older than the people in, 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 the, in the nursing homes. <laughs> Sometimes that's the way. <coughs> Have you, are you still enjoying living here? Oh yes, I love it. Yeah. Mm. Wouldn't live anywhere else, would you? No, I've actually, a couple of years ago, because I, I thought I was getting on a bit, I didn't know how much longer I can handle all this travelling. Mm. Uh, wife and I thought we'd uh, have a look at uh, one of those retirement villages. So I did a bit of uh, investigation into some of them. But uh, this was about two or three years ago. Mm. And at the time, we couldn't get the price for our house. Mm. The prices were way down. So. We abandoned that, mm. and even now that the prices are up, we've decided we're staying here. Yeah. Are there any memorable events that stick out in your mind over the years? Uh, well, one of the most important things I think that happened to the island is that uh, we got the police here. Mm. Uh, that made a lot of difference. Michael Berry was the first policeman mm. and uh, he did a great job. What he did was work out who were the problem people on the island and keep the, kept an eye on them and, and protected us uh, older people. Um, and uh, that made a lot of difference. Well, I think that's about it. That'll do for now, so thank you very much.